patio, we are talking about a very cool play that is coming up, the Backyard Renaissance Current Production, which is the October Night of Johnny Zero. This is part true crime, part sci-fi. We're going to get to the story there. But joining us now, we have Fran Gurk, who is the playwright of this and also the artistic director at Backyard Renaissance. And then we have Jeffrey Ulysses Geisinger. Oh, nailed it. Yeah. And Marcel Farron, both actors in this wonderful play. Fran, I'll start with you. Tell us about the story. Um, the story is really simple. Is um, Johnny uh, Grimes, played by Marcel, is just trying to make it home from school one night. Um, and it's a series of unfortunate events. Um, and coming to his rescue is Frankie Pinellini, played by Jeffrey. And um, uh, Jeffrey invites Marcel home and says, you can use my phone, call your mom, and get everything squared away. And from that point on, um, everything just continually goes wrong. Chaos ensues. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. The dog, who is very cute, by the way, has nothing to do with the play, but we decided that puppies make everything better. Right. So. Absolutely. This is, this is, this is Anakin, and Anakin just makes everybody feel really good. I love um, Anakin. Yeah. Um, for people who are unfamiliar with Backyard Renaissance, mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about it. It's really a unique idea. It, it, it's we are a uh, company that started in 2015. We are a what you might call an intimate theater company. We perform down at the 10th Avenue Arts Center in downtown San Diego, where the 163 turns into 10th Avenue. <laughs> and um, we launched it, uh, my wife and I, Jessica, um, because we noticed that we weren't having that much fun anymore at what we were doing. And we thought, why don't we just try to put some joy back into what we do and try to create an environment where um, everybody is... I like to say that I want to recreate Cheers, where everybody knows your name and you walk <laughs> in and everybody goes, hey, Norm. And um, Jessica, uh, being a fan of animals, just noticed that animals um, have a sense of joyful play. That's what they want to do. And so that's what we're trying to create. So with each production, um, that's what we try to create is a joyful environment. It doesn't mean that every play is, you know... Um, Happy. Yeah. The, but, the, but just the act of, of being there in an right. intimate setting for a theater right. and and the acting itself is is joyful. Yeah, that there's, a, that there's a real commitment to it, that there's a real passion for it, and that we um, absolutely love the audience when they show up. <laughs> um, and uh, so we just want to create that environment. And so the October Night of Johnny Zero is an attempt to do that, to give people a bit of a mystery, a bit of thrill, a bit of whodunit, and then hopefully at the end that you're um, moved and touched because it is I know I'm the playwright and they should probably speak better for, <laughs> they, about, they about this um, is that it's a it's a it's a it's a compelling and moving story and 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 that you'll want to come back and and see more productions there uh, really quickly because now people are thinking hmm tickets are really affordable right. and when can they see it they can see it thank you you're welcome the, uh, uh, the, that uh, it uh, it is in preview right now, which means uh, we're still working things out, um, which is a fun thing to witness um, when you're in the audience. But it's uh, Thursdays through Saturdays at 8 p.m., and then Sundays at 3 p.m., and it will run through Saturday, December 10th. That's the final show, so it's a short window of time uh, to catch what is probably the most spectacular show you're ever going to see in your life. Um, <laughs> I love that. The confidence. Um, and tickets are 18 to $40. Yes. Can I just add that I think if you have a young one, who's interested in theater, maybe in their theater group at school, seeing a play in this setting and yeah. an intimate theater, it just, I don't know, I, I feel like it drives home the, the craft, the art. I'm going to talk to the youngsters to verify what I just said. Marcel, Hi. tell us tell us about being in a in a play like this and, and the intimate setting. I mean, it really t turns up the pressure on an actor. It, it does. Um, you know, you, you, you're in the world of the play, but the audience is right there, so you can't help but feel that, you know, when you go out. But as soon as the play starts, you're in the world of the play. And like I said the last time when I worked with Jess and, and, and Jeffrey, 
you just can't help but feel what these characters are feeling, the way that Fran wrote it. Um, it's, it, it really is a blast, and there's just a, a range of emotions that happen, and, and it is really heart heartwarming and pulling and tugging all at the same time. Uh, but, yeah, I'm having a blast while I'm doing it. So All right, yeah. well, we want everyone to come out and support you. And, Jeffrey, what are your aspirations? I mean, do you hope to one day take this acting on in a bigger way as, as a full-time? I think for me, I just love telling stories. Mm -hmm. um, so whatever that may take fashion or shape in, uh, I've also done, like in the past, uh, I work for a USL League 2 soccer team in San Francisco called the San Francisco Glens as their play-by-play -play broadcaster. So um, <laughs> in that way, it's also telling stories. Um, and so whether that's through uh, continuing theater or uh, doing some film, whatever it may be, I just really enjoy telling stories um like back to i was like a boy scout when i was younger and you have skits around the campfire um and so i think for me whatever that ends up being great um and i'm just grateful to be able to tell stories because i think that's there's something really magical and there's reasons why storytelling has been around forever um in in all different sh cultures uh and societies so. well whatever you do you should always just hold a dog when you do it <laughs> yeah. um but check out backyard renaissance go see them thursdays through sunday until uh, December 10th. Jessica, come over here and um, yeah. happy anniversary. Thank you. Yesterday. Oh, wow. Married to this man 12 I years. Guess. Yes. Well, and this is a Helen Woodward puppy, so adopt. <laughs> adopt. Oh, Anakin. I, thought I was going to say that, and I <laughs> yeah. saw the color. I'm like, he really belongs to somebody, and I shouldn't say that. Okay. And we're going to talk about Helen Woodward's Hope Telethon coming up as well. So stay with us right here on KUSI. Much more coming up. But go to Backyard Renaissance and check out the October night of Johnny Zero. Thanks, guys. Thank you. That was great. Thank <laughs> you.